December 29th. Today we keep the memory of the 14,000 holy children slaughtered by Herod. King Herod had pressed the Magi to bring him word of the whereabouts of the child king, whom led by the star they had come to adore, so that he too, as he alleged, might worship him. He was furious when he realized that they had deceived him, and his fear of the rival announced by such extraordinary signs and worshipped by these strangers of exalted rank was so great that he was prepared to make victims of innocent babes rather than let him escape. He therefore ordered the massacre of the male children born since the star had first appeared to the Magi, and his soldiers slaughtered all of those under two years of age in Bethlehem and the surrounding district. The prophecy of Jeremiah was then fulfilled on this dark day for the mothers of the tribe of Benjamin. In Ramah, that is, in the territory of the tribe of Benjamin, was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted because they are not. It was as if Rachel, whose tomb is at Bethlehem, arose at that time to lament with the mothers of the tyrant victims, the first fruits and flowers of the martyrs, who died for Christ, and instead of Christ. But Herod sought in vain to resist the will of God in shedding all that innocent blood, for Joseph had been warned beforehand in a dream to take the child and his mother and to flee into Egypt. The massacre of the holy children almost completed the catalogue of Herod's crimes. While planning the assassination of his son, for plotting against him, Herod was attacked by a loathsome disease which everyone regarded as a punishment from God. His entrails and his flesh were slowly eaten by worms as if he were a living corpse, and in this state he departed to eternal damnation. He had spread terror around him until his last breath with the torture of all who resisted him and even the execution of his son. Blessed is our God always in all and for the Lord of the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from, from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the age of religion. Amen. Be thou entreated for the sake of the sufferings of thy saints, 
which they endured for thee, O Lord. And do thou heal all our pains, we pray, O the friend of man. Traversing the deep on foot as though it were dry land, and seeing the tyrant Pharaoh drowned, Israel cried aloud, Let us chant unto God a hymn of victory. Glory to thy holy nativity, O Lord. Creation is made anew, and the nature of mortals is refashioned. For past understanding, Christ, the maker of all, is born in the flesh of a pure and all immaculate mother. O holy infants, pray to God for us. Today, the Church of Christ, delightedly gathering streams of blood as blooming flowers from tender new stems, takes pleasure in them and is made beautiful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The rivers of the blood of the pious children have spiritually flooded the folly and madness of Herod, and his decree is sunk unto the dust. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The earth has received deliverance from the ancient curse in Eden, for in her the Deliverer was born of thee, O Immaculate Virgin, and he He has made her new and has sanctified her. There is none holy as thou, O Lord my God, who hast exalted the heart of thy faithful, O good one, and hast established us upon the rock of thy confession. Glory to thy holy nativity, O Lord. You clouds drop upon the earth the sweetness of good cheer, for from a cloud of light Christ has dawned. Born past all understanding in the flesh in a cave. O holy infants, pray to God for us. The nature of man has stripped off its old unseemliness and has covered itself with delightful adornment, its adorner having dawned from a virgin in the flesh. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The divinely chosen choir of babes has been brought to the Creator who is born in the flesh, offered as a mystical sacrifice through martyric slaughter and godly contest. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When the word of God ineffably became flesh from thine immaculate and precious blood, O pure one, as God he showed thee to be the sovereign mistress of all created things. To him that was born today of the pure virgin is a host of infants brought as to their master and their king as an acceptable sacrifice slaughtered before Christ for Christ's sake by means of faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Creation is glad today with joy inspired from on high, for from a pure maiden Christ is born the Lord, the divine, beginningless Father, Son, making all the race of man immortal forever, as he doth destroy the curse of Eve, our first mother. With him's land, then let us glorify him, showing our gratitude. Christ is my power, my God, and my Lord, the honored church doth sing, crying out in godly manner with a pure mind, keeping festival in the Lord. Glory to thy holy nativity, O Lord. Beholding thy condescension in a cave, O Lord, the angelic orders were amazed with fear, and they sang the praise of thine unimaginable mercy, O Christ. O holy infants, pray to God for us. O Lord, who didst frame the whole creation with understanding of thine own will, hast thou numbered thyself bodily among the things which thou hast made, and hast taken up thy rest in thine. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The lawless and deranged Herod, raving with madness, thrust the sword against himself when he attempted to destroy the benefactor of all, who is indestructible in his divinity. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. They who came of the nations bearing gifts beheld thee who art fair in beauty, shining brighter than lightning with the rays of thy sun, and they praised with hymns the new and marvelous sight. With thy divine light illumine the souls of those that with love rise at dawn unto thee, O good one, that they may know thee, O word of God, to be the true God who calls all forth from the darkness of sin. Glory to thy holy nativity, O Lord. The wine bowl of thy compassion overflowed upon all thy works, O Christ, and filled them with bounteous mercy when thou didst appear born in the flesh. O holy infants, pray to God for us. The infants have been brought together unto Christ today as sacrifices without blemish and mystically offered up by the sword like whole burnt offerings in fire. They have obtained the divine prizes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that was born of thee in the flesh in a cave has made noetic streams of immortality to well of O pure virgin, and he has fully watered man's nature, enriching it with incorruption, because he is compassionate. Beholding the sea of life rising with the tempest of temptations, I flee to thy calm haven and cry out unto thee. Raise up my life out of corruption, O most merciful one. Glory to thy holy nativity, O Lord. The earth has given forth the most sweet-smelling myrrh, for upon it in a manner past understanding the inexhaustible myrrh has overflowed from the pure virgin in the flesh, filling mortals with the divine sweet savour. O holy infants, pray to God for us. Miserable Herod made Bethlehem red with the blood of the babes, but their blood crying out unto God has wrought his just condemnation and destruction. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God, the Word, who is beyond time of these, born in thy womb in time, O Immaculate Virgin, that he might grant those on earth a life that is not subject to time, and an everlasting inheritance, and unmingled glory. Unto him that had been born a star sent magi, and in vain did Herod send his unjust army through the land, for he was minded to put to death him that was laid in the manger a newborn babe. While things above and things below now make merry together at the appearing of the King of all, only Herod is pained, together with the prophet slaying Jews. And right it is that they alone should mourn, for from henceforth they shall no longer reign, but the kingdom of the Lord shall hold sway driving off the audacity of his enemies and calling together the multitudes of the faithful with the venerable infants to look upon him that lies in the manger, a newborn babe. Him that lies in the manger, a newborn babe. The angel caused the furnace to pour forth dew upon the pious youths, and the command of God which consumed the Chaldeans prevailed upon the tyrant to cry out, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers. Glory to thy holy nativity, O Lord. The son that was born of a virgin mother in the flesh has diminished the night and has doubled the day for the faithful who sincerely cry unto him, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Holy infants, pray to God for us. He that was born in a cave had studied again with knowledge of himself the whole creation shaken with godlessness, which cries out to him without ceasing, 
Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou Herod reaped the innocent babes with the blood guilty hand. He utterly failed of his vain hopes, signing a just condemnation against himself when he meditated the murder of God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All creation saw thy divine magnificence, O bride of God, when the Master and God of all was born of thee in the flesh in the city of Bethlehem, and with the Magi and shepherds it sang thy praise. From the flame did thou cause dew to gush forth upon the righteous, and with water didst thou burn the sacrifice of the just one. For thou, O Christ, doest all things by thy will alone. Thee do we supremely exalt unto all the ages. Glory to thy holy nativity, O Lord. Creation has been clothed, the luminous robe, and has completely laid aside all sorrow, since the Master who makes all things new is born on earth. Him do we supremely exalt unto all the ages. O holy infants, pray to God for us. As gold and frankincense and myrrh receive our entreaties, O compassionate Christ, accept them as thou didst the holy infant's blood, O friend of man, and grant us mercy. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Released from the world and this present life by a godly death, O innocent infants, you depart parted unto God, the setter of the contest, who gives us life everlasting. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that was born of thee in a cave has prepared everlasting tabernacles for mankind, which sincerely praises thee as the Theotokos, O all Immaculate Virgin, and supremely exalts thee unto all the ages. It is not possible for man to see God, upon whom the ranks of angels dare not gaze. But through the O Most Pure One has the Word appeared incarnate unto men, and magnifying Him with the armies of heaven we call Thee blessed. Glory to Thy holy nativity, O Lord. The mercy of Thy love for man which passes understanding has been made known unto the nations, O Christ. Thou became poor in the flesh, O Lord and Master, that Thou mightst make us partakers of more excellent riches, since Thou art good and plenteous in mercy. O holy innocence, pray to God for us. Thy ineffable childbirth, O Virgin, which provides mortals with a strange and divine rebirth, has also made all creation new, and has united to the angels those on earth who forever sing of thee and glorify thee and magnify thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The strength of Herod, the wager of war, who raved for the babe's destruction, is waxen weak. For being God to the invincible power of God by the grace of faith, they brightly ascended unto God, the setter of the contest. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God, born of thee in the flesh, has made us sons of God, O all blameless virgin, and he has given the first dignity unto them who have received him, and who earnestly glorify and magnify thee as the Mother of God. Do not be sad, O Bethlehem, be of good cheer, to see the sacred infant son justly murdered. They are offered up unto the Master Christ, as sacrifices whole and pure, for being slaughtered for his sake, they reign together with him now. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May he who was born in a cave and lay in a manger for our salvation, Christ our true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwog, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the 14,000 infants slain by Herod in Bethlehem, with the prayers of our Father among the saints, Marcellus of the monastery of the unsleeping ones, and those with them whose memory we keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.